Am I sitting on a gold mine of error cards? Take a look at this. Steve Young on one side, Don Mosbar on the other side. I got 40 of them like this. Neil Smith on side A. And Keith Byers on the other side. Rob Moore from the movie. Uh, McGuire. Dwayne Bickett. Blair Thomas. One side. Flip it over. Eric Green. Gary Clark on the front. John Offerdahl on the back. Mike Singletary on the front. Derek Thomas on the back. Michael Irvin on the front. And John Alt on the back. Haywood Jeff Ayers on the front. Warren Moon on the back. Ronnie Pete on the front. Morton Anderson on the back. So I ordered this set, a complete set. This came in the full complete set, and I'm putting the cards in the binder. And I'm like, wait a minute. What? <laughs> Something's not making sense here. And uh, sure, but look at the card numbers. You know, seven, six, seven, Richmond Webb on the front. Now check the back. Neil Anderson, number eight. Rich Camarillo. Chris Dolman, number nine on the back. Craig Hayward. Sterling Sharp, number 11. Did I miss number? Oh, yeah, number 10. The cards that are missing is because those are in my binder in the right spots. I didn't know what to do here. Which card side is it the front or the back that counts? Fred Barnett or Sean Landetta? Brian Jordan? I think it's his rookie, right? Or Jim Breach, number 16. Is it Pat Leahy? Or is it Barry Foster? Barry Bananas? Eric Martin? Or Rodney Hampton? Tim Crumry on the front. Roger Craig on the back. John Taylor. Doesn't even look like him. Alan Pinkett. So are these cards worth a gazillion bucks? There's Jeff Cross from the Miami Dolphins, Bubby Brister, Tommy Kane. Or are they worth nothing? I remember I tried to collect. The reason why I bought this was as a kid, these pinnacle cards were priced at like 50 cents a pack. So I was able to afford a lot of them with my lawnmower money. And uh, I never got the whole set. I remember bu buying a few boxes having tons of doubles and I just wanted the full set. So I bought it online from somebody. I don't know if they ever looked at it. They probably didn't. Although it looked like it was a hand collated set. I just don't think they ever looked at both sides. I, I think they just looked at the back of the card and never looked at the front to see like, Hey, there's a different picture on the front and the back or are all the cards like that? No, I know they're not because some of these that I see on the back, I had the original cards and they weren't misprinted like that. Although I do, I do remember having a few that were misprinted like this. So John Hand. You think you got the John Hand card? Psych. You got a Bill Fralick. Oh boy, Todd McNair. Nope. Is it Sam Mills? Could be. Eddie Brown. Nope. And look how many of them are. They're all. See, there's the Dan Marino card. See, I had that Dan Marino. And I had the front. Guy McIntyre, John Freeze, David Vulture, nope, Louis Lips, Dan Straczynski, uh, 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 it's Vinny Testaverde, oh boy, Pat Swilling, that's what you think, buddy, it's Brian Mitchell, Gary, Gary, Plummer, Herschel, Herschel, Robert Del Pino, Ricky Paul, Anthony Johnson, or Jim Harp, Jim, Eric Allen, Barry Word, Leroy Butler, nope, Thurman, Thomas, Kevin Fagan, Fagan, no, it's the fridge. So what do you do there? What do you do? So you see all these empty spots I have in my set. And I just got to the point where I just, I didn't care anymore. I'm going to sell these on eBay. I don't even care if these errors are worth a gazillion bucks because I listed one of them. No one cares. So if I actually sell the set, hey, that's great. I'll list it in the description that, well, 
it's not in fact the set. It was nice to look at these cards again. And I don't know why they were priced so cheap at 50 cents because they do feel like premium cards. And at the time in 91, see the, the upper deck cards were premium, but they were more expensive. Whereas the, hey, look at that Jerry Rice right there. Rodney Pete. And, uh, hey, there's another Fred Barnett. So I guess I got ripped off. Was that Tim Crumry? So I guess some of these are dupes. That right. is Dion. Dion Sanders on the Falcons. Uh, Tom Rathman. He's like the original, uh, the running back on the Bucks. Mike Allstott. Pete Stoyanovich. Blair Thomas. Blair Thomas. He was supposed to be a big deal rookie. And there's that Neil Smith again. So I guess Neil Smith's in there twice. That That's lame. So I, I really didn't get the full set. Somebody ripped me off. And now I'm about to... Un- well, hey, look at that Barry Sanders. Yeah, Bubba McDowell. Yes, yeah, look at that Barry. Look at that Ben. Clay Matthews, senior. How... Mark Duper, Ernest Biner, and then all these rookie cards. Is this like the, the, the there's some of these rookies here seem like they were going to be great, and then none of them panned out. I don't even think a single one of them did. Oh no, Ed McCaffrey did. Ed McCaffrey on the Giants, but then he went to the Broncos. There's Daryl Green, Dan McGuire, Dan McGuire. Some of these head to heads. I thought these cards here should have been the way the whole set looked. Not pr- this particular set, but they wasted a cool like uh, template that they could have used for another season. And then you got these cards. Yeah, that's cute. That's Pinnacle 91. 